Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the MIDI modes or the MIDI editors in Reaper. I have a project right here where I've already recorded some MIDI. And the MIDI is recorded into each one of these items. But if I want to edit it, I'm going to want to do that in the MIDI editor. And the easiest way to get there is to double click one of these items. So I'm going to go to the piano and double click it. And that opens up the MIDI editor. Now, by default, it opens up to the mode piano roll, which is named because you have a keyboard right over here on the left, which lines up with all the notes on the right. So when this note is played, it creates a rectangle right over here, lining up with it. Now, there are a few things that are in common for all the modes, or most of them. And that's the stuff down here the transport, the grid lines, or the size of the grid. We could set it from whole notes to eighth notes or quarter notes. They could be straight, triplet, dotted, or swing. We could adjust the size of the notes we create if we double click right over here. So if I double click, it creates a note that's the size of our grid. But we could change it to be a quarter note, double click. It creates a quarter note running that line. And that could be straight, triplet, or dotted. Then over here, we have key snap. If we choose this, we can create snapping that's only going to snap in the key we choose. So if I choose C major, and I drag this note, it snaps to C major. Or if I turn this off, it's going to snap to chromatic. And then finally, we could choose how our notes are colored. By velocity, by channel, by pitch, or any of these options. And that's going to show up in most of our modes or editors. So let's take a look at the other modes. If I right click over here, I can go to view and right down over here are the different modes or editors. Piano roll, which we're seeing now, name notes, which is useful for drums, percussion, or effects, event list, which shows a list of every note or controller information that we play. And then finally, music notation. And we could switch these with the key commands right over here, or we could switch them right up over here in the toolbar. There's the piano roll, the named notes, the event list, or notation. But let's check out the second one, which is named notes, which instead of seeing a keyboard over here, we see a spot where we can name our notes. So if you want, to change this note and have it named over here, we could do that. But it's more useful for drums. So let's go to a drum track right over here. And let's switch it to named notes. And let's name these notes. This is my kick, my snare, and my hi hat. So if I want to name it, just click right in this line, go up here and right click, go to File and choose Note Names. Rename the current note, and we can name it right here, Kick. Now a shortcut, we can just go right here and double right click, and name it that way. Snare, and then Hi-Hat. And just like that, we can see the name lining up with the notes. And like I said, this is most useful for drums, samples, or effects. And if we want to save it afterwards, we can just right click up here, go to File, Note Names, and save it as a file. Or if you're using a drum machine or drum synthesizer that already has a map laid out, you can just load it right here. If you're downloading it from the internet, or if someone else already set it up for you. Or if you saved it after creating it. And we can clear it right here to get rid of those note names. 
but some plugins will show up automatically. Let's go to this track here. And on this track, on the effects, I'm using three instances of Resamplematic 5000, which is the sampler that comes with Reaper for a kick, a snare, and a hi hat. And if you use this plugin, they'll show up automatically. So let's double click it right here, switch it to name notes, and we can see it shows up automatically. I didn't have to create these, which again is more useful for drums. Here's my kick, my snare, and my hi-hat. And we can also change the way these notes look. If you don't like these boxes or these rectangles, just right click over here, go to view, piano roll notes, and change it here from rectangles to triangles. Now they look like this. So we could edit them as triangles. Or we could switch them to diamonds, view, piano roll notes, diamonds. And now we get diamonds instead. But we could still adjust the velocity right from here. We just don't see the length of the notes, which usually doesn't matter for drums. But instead of seeing long notes, like rectangles, we can just see these diamonds or triangles. But if you prefer, we can use the default, which is rectangles. The next mode or editor is called the event list. Let's choose it here. This will give us a list of every event we record. And we can follow along our events with this arrow. So you can see where you are. I kind of prefer this mode when I'm looking to troubleshoot. Like for example, I recorded this synth and I'm pretty sure it recorded with channel pressure, which I don't need. So I can't see it here or here, but if I go to the event list, I can see my notes are here and my channel pressure is right here. So if I want to delete it, I could just select them and just delete them in one shot. So it's a great way of finding any weird notes or controller information that you might have recorded like pressure or expression pedal, I find it easy to find in the event list. And then finally, we have the musical notation editor right here, where we can see our notes on the staff. And we can add them. Move them around, delete them. Any editing we do in the other modes can be done here as well, which is really useful if you know how to read and write music notation. You can just add a note by double clicking and move it around to whatever note you need. Now, if you want to learn more about the notation editor, I have a dedicated video on my channel. Reaper Mania, where I go a lot deeper into all the functions of the notation editor. So check that out. But for now, these are the MIDI modes or MIDI editors that are available in Reaper. We have the piano roll, where we can see our notes next to our piano, the named list, which is very useful for drums or percussion, the event list for seeing all our notes or controller information in a list, and then finally, our musical notation, which is very useful if you can read or write music. So that's pretty much it. That's the MIDI modes or MIDI editors in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.